Today on CWN, Nathan caught senioritis. And are you going to the football game tomorrow in Kerrville? I'm Kendall. And I'm Willie B. And today is Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Sorry about that roast yeah. to uh, Nathan Atkinson. Um, we love him here at Callum. <laughs> and um, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> Callum Business Professionals of America will have its monthly meeting today at 4.10 p.m. in room 601. Please make sure to attend. This year's contest guidelines have been issued and posted to the BPA page in Squology. So make sure to look it over. Go check it out, room 601. And students, if you are interested in applying for the Voice of Democracy Scholarship, you may visit College and Career Counselor Mrs. Duke. And, of course, you can go ask her if you have any questions about applications or anything like that. And students, entry deadline is October 31st, which is Halloween, so please make sure to get that done. And have you been missing the giveaway? Because we, we talked to some of the <laughs> teachers who used to participate in the giveaway to see how they're feeling with the giveaway being gone. So let's check out this video. Good morning, Wildcats. This is me, Curtis. I'm here with Coach Shigoda, a frequent winner of the question of the day question. So, Coach, we're here to ask you, do you miss those questions every morning? You know, I really do. I, I, we enjoyed that back whenever it was done in second period. But now with it being in fourth period, you know, it's hard to do it. I don't really have a class to sit down and, and watch it with. But, yes, we, uh, I do miss it. And, uh, you know, I always get accused of cheating because we won so much. And, you know, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. We just we had a system in my classes, and it worked. You know, we called in, you know, I'm trying to be a nice guy, trying to see how things are going. And then I get accused of cheating because my kids are looking for the answer, and I'm just trying to stall for a few seconds. But overall, yeah, I, I do miss it. And uh, maybe one day we'll go back to having it during second period, and, and uh, we can start being back on top if you all bring it back. All I just right, get tired of being called a cheater all the time about that stuff, you know? I feel you. All right, we're going we're gonna to go get some more teachers. We'll see y'all back in the other hallway. Good morning, Wildcats. This is me, Curtis. I'm here with Coach Hunter asking him if he's ready to have these questions back on Callan TV. So, Coach, do you want these back or not? Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to have the question back. I know uh, back when you used to ask him, my class dominated those questions all the time. Uh, we were always one of the top winners uh, pretty regularly. I know now I'm not around as much because uh, they do the Cal Island uh, announcements during uh, Cal Island TV announcements. Uh, when I'm in athletics, so I'm down there washing laundry or doing whatever, so don't have a chance to answer these questions. But I always thought the question of the day was a good thing. Right, right. And uh, you heard it from us, folks. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. So I definitely noticed Coach Shigoda there, even though you know hasn't really participated in like the last two years. So. Coach Shigoda would be the first one on that. He, video. he would, of course. He had his long streak, and then just went downhill from there. And every day it was Coach Shigoda won. Coach Shigoda won. <laughs> Anyway, I know a lot of us have missed giveaway, and we were not able to continue it this year because of the pandemic caused us to lose a lot of the supplies we gave out for giveaway. However, I do hope you all are ready for the computers because it is time for the new weekly giveaway. Here's Dolly with today's question. Thank you, Kendall. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Southern Charm, your local home cooking restaurant. This week's question is, what is the release day for the new Britney Spears documentary on Netflix? Email us at calallentv at gmail.com with the correct answer to be in the drawing. Back to you, Kendall. Thank you, Jolie. It is a little weird doing that now. Yeah, that is. <laughs> very, it's very weird. And the forensic science class is currently conducting a crime scene investigation. We have the first of three videos to discover what all they are doing. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Cade Wood. I'm here outside the crime scene where Miss Cooley unfortunately died earlier this week. I'm here with three of the prime suspects right now. We're going to get a little input on what they have about the situation. So, Reed, why are you a suspect? Bro, I was just trying to back up my friend. I was, she was dressed on him for no reason. I didn't do nothing, but the only reason they think I'm a suspect is because I was trying to be a real friend to Willie, trying to dress code him. What is that? Why? Why? 
Why do they need to do that? It's pointless. I'm here for an education, not to be dress coded. All right, there's Reed's input. Now we have Mia here. She was also a prime suspect in the situation. I was just backing up Willie because I didn't think he should be dress coded, and I got caught skipping class, so that's why I'm a suspect. <laughs> wow, so two of the three are here backing up Willie. Willie, what do you have to say about this? Why are you a prime suspect? Honestly, man, I'm just trying to come to school comfortable, and I didn't think wearing shorts um, was a certain problem. So, yeah, she best watch her back because got something else coming for her. All right. We all heard it from us. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. So how was that experience? Um, you know, it was fun. Me and Reed got to be suspects, and <laughs> we got, you know, a background, or like our background, mm -hmm. you know, and we kind of had to play our part. You know, it's cool to go through all that. So stay tuned. There may be some more videos in the future of more crimes. So. <laughs> Anyways, the Kirkwood in scholarship is awarding one high school student with a $2,500 grant. Please make sure you apply by September 30th. If you need any more information, please stop by room 802. And that is going to be next week, so please make sure you get that done. Yep. And attention seniors, the Heisman High School Scholarship is now accepting applications. The program recognizes and rewards high school seniors who accomplish tremendous feats in the uh, in the classroom, on the field, and most importantly, within their community. The deadline to apply is October 19th. To apply, please go to HeismanScholarship.com. Don't hesitate and apply as soon as possible. If you need more information, swing by room 802. 802 is the room to go, I guess. It really is. <laughs> Anyways, Maya caught up with some of our cheerleaders to learn more about the incredible programs they are participating in, such as... Brooks Blossoms that gives back to child, childhood cancer patients. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm here with Kennedy and Michaela, and they're here to tell us more about this fundraiser. Um, for the past four years, the cheerleaders and the Top Cats have made headbands for little girls with cancer through an organization called Brooks Blossoms. And this year, we wanted to do something a little more, so make sure you check out the interact tables in the morning to see what you can get. Yeah, so not a lot of people really understand how important this fundraiser is. You know, to them it's just a fundraiser, but to me and my family this is huge because my brother is a, a leukemia survivor. Well, okay, well thank y'all. And that's all from here, now back to the studio. And now here's Jelly with the run on sports, rather right this short message. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I heard you were talking to my sister. Who? Oh, yeah? I don't even know who your sister is, dude. Bro, I can't take that, bro. I can't take that. Who? I can't take that, bro. I just can't take that. I don't want to talk to your ugly sister, dog. Bro, well, what's about it then? Your sister ugly, that's what's about it. Oh, uh, for Break it up, 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 calm down. Officer, can you escort these two? Yes, I can. Come with me, you heathens. Oh no, oh no, it's off to the office we go. You boys need to learn, there's no fighting in school, okay? That's a 15 minute replacement in DEP. You understand me? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Kendall, and good morning, Wildcats. Hey, football fans, we do indeed have a game this week. The game will be on Friday in Kerrville starting at 7.30. Tickets will only be sold online. The link is below. JK, no, it's not. The freshman and junior varsity team will play today. Freshman plays in Port Lavaca, and the junior varsity will play at 6.30 in Rockport. Make sure to wish them good luck and safe travels to our Wildcats. We have this week's episode of Cats Den. Let's take a look. Wildcats, it's me, Curtis. I'm here with Cade Wood and Terry Hickman to talk about big games this week. So, guys, first up, we got La Vega versus Miller. How do you think that's going to be okay? Uh, both teams are really a powerhouse in the 4A division. I feel like it's going to be a strong offensive game. Uh, Miller's going to come out strong, and ultimately, I think La Vega's going to take it with their strong defense. Uh, yeah, both teams have great offenses, uh, but uh, I think Miller has a stronger offense. And, right. Uh, I think they'll take it. 
Right. And next up, we got LBJ versus Cornerstone. How's that going to go down, Kate? Uh, you know, Cornerstone's a good private school team. They have a lot of talent. They're able to bring in a lot of talent with the recruiting. But as we saw last year, LBJ was really good at the playoffs. They did graduate some, but I think LBJ's going to walk away with it. Um, yep. Yeah, LBJ has a fast offense, fast defense, uh, super explosive, so uh, I'm going to have to go with them too. And lastly, we have Kyle versus Tyvee. How's it going to go down, Keith? Uh, Defense-wise, we've been preparing a lot. Tyvee's got a good good coaching staff. They're really smart, able to make adjustments to what we come out in. But I think ultimately with our ability to change our game plan and uh, our personnel on the field, I think that the Cal defense is going to do a good game this week. Uh, I think practice has been great for the offensive side. Um, and uh, I think we'll come out hot and uh, put up a whole bunch of touchdowns. All right. That's all from us, folks. Now back to the studio. Volleyball also plays this Friday against Toloso Midway. Freshman NJV will start at 6 and varsity will begin at 5. Make sure to check it out if you aren't already going to the football game in Kerrville against Ivy. Some of the girls on the swim team broke a record last night in their meet. Let's take it to Coach Lawrence with more. Yeah, in our swim meet yesterday versus London, uh, the Cal Allen girls 200-yard freestyle relay uh, broke the school record the, with the team of Jenny Pickens, Isabella Clement, Kaylee Larson, and Erica Larson. Uh, and they actually broke the record last week, but they left early from the block, so it got disqualified, so it didn't count, but they did it again this week. So... It's a very good accomplishment for those young ladies. Great things from our swim team and the rest of our sports programs. That's the latest on Kyle and Sports. Back to the anchors. Thank you, sure. Joey. Oh. Um. <laughs> Now make sure, folks, if you're not going to the football game, go check out the volleyball game. And if you planned on going to the football game, can't wait to see y'all there. Let's, we're going to be hyped. Let's go. <laughs> Take it away, Kendall. And attention students, here's what you need to know about the yearbook. Senior ads are due October 8th. Senior ad info is due October 15th. You can buy last year's yearbook for $50 and purchase this year's yearbook for $65 before price goes up in January. So please, please make sure to buy one so you don't have to spend extra money. Get them now, folks. Come on. And now here's Aaron with today's weather forecast right after this quick break. All right, guys. I'm here with Coach Ashburn. Today we're going to be talking about kids sleeping in class. So, Coach, how many kids do you have sleeping in your class throughout the day? And throughout the day, usually nobody sleeps in class. I mean, I'm such a great teacher and very entertaining that everyone's alert all the time. All right. So if they do fall asleep in class, what do you do to them? Or like, what are their punishments? Well, occasionally after lunch, they may fall asleep. So we'll either gently nudge them or probably basically slam a book on All their right. Desk. Now I'm here with Kenny Kiesler and uh, we're talking about sleeping in class. So about how many times a day do you sleep throughout the day? I try my hardest not to sleep in class, but sometimes I can't help it. There's no benefits to it. It just gets you behind in class. It's a terrible thing. That's very true. So if you do fall in class, like, how do you feel afterwards? Like, if you miss out on work or anything? It could put you behind for multiple days or even a week, depending on how much work you missed out on. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so I'm here with Hunter Groves, and we've been interviewing kids about sleeping in class. So, Hunter, how often then do you sleep in class? Uh, you know, Hunter K, now that I think about it, I don't think I've slept one time out of, like, the time I've been in high school. I think I've... Yeah, you know, I don't like to miss out in school, so I don't I don't sleep in class. Not at all, not even once. No, nah, I don't no, nah, I don't think so. Honestly. All right then. Good morning, Kyle and Wildcats and today's weather is brought to you by Sonic, America's favorite drive in. And today's gonna be looking a lot nicer in the low eighties with super small percent chance of rain and winds from the north at ten to fifteen miles per hour. Looking further into our day, we're going to stay pretty consistent at noon. We're going to see 83 at 4 o'clock when we get out for school in the mid-80s. And later tonight, it'll be 76 with almost no percent chance of rain. And tomorrow for our football game, 
During the day, it's going to be a little hot, but if you're going to that football game, it is going to be cold. The low for Tyvee is 52, so bring a jacket. And on Saturday, it's going to be looking all right in the high 80s with a 20% chance of rain with winds from the northeast at 15 miles per hour. That's all for me, and back to the anchors. It Thank is, you, Aaron. It is indeed going to be very cold at that Kerrville Tyvee game. Yes, so. but I'm very excited. Very excited for it to be cold. Make sure you bring a hoodie, a jacket, something to keep you warm. Yes, and for that football link, if you have about the ticket set, they are going to be, the link should be right there. There you go, www.kerrvilleisd.net. Hope to see you all there. Thank you, Aaron, and that's all your announcements for today, <laughs> but now it's time for your joke of the day. So, Kendall, what do scuba divers fall, why do scuba <laughs> divers fall backwards into the water? I don't know, really. Be. Why? Because if they fall forward, they would fall into the boat. <laughs> 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 and for all of you social people out there, make sure you are following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Kind TV for all of those updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, Kyle Allen. Allen.